Hi there, this is Veronica. Today I'll be making a spell book cover. It's like a witch vibe journal. So first I print out the pattern I drew and place a tracing paper on top and use a pencil to trace all the patterns down. The leather I'm using is vegetable tan leather, which is the leather you need to use for carving. First, I case the leather, which is to apply water on the leather to make it damped and let it dry for about 10 minutes till the color change back to its original color. And I place the tracing paper on top and use an O to draw the pattern all over again then use my swivel knife to start carving. I also use stems and bevelers to create some dimension and decoration, also some texture. And next I leave the leather to be completely dry and I'm going to start the dyeing process. The color I'm using is burgundy, which is a purplish red. I use some alcohol to dilute the dye, so the outcome will be a lot more even. And after that, I apply a layer of leather conditioner and then leave it to dry overnight. Before I put leather finisher on, I use the gilding size, which is like a gold leaf glue. Apply the glue onto the area that I want to have the gold leaves on. and wait for the glue to change back to clear color. I used the artist spatula and a sponge for applying the gold leaves on. It's actually a silver leaf. Uh, I don't really have the proper tool for this process and so it gets a little bit tricky to get all the leaves on.
and after pasting all the leaves onto the leather, you just use a painting brush to brush off all the excess leaves. And then I let it dry for an hour or two. Then I apply leather finisher on. And let that dry for a couple hours. And next I use antique gel for standing the parts I carved. And then I apply another layer of leather finisher on top. And next I wanted to attach corner pieces onto the cover. I used some resin to glue those parts down and leave that to dry overnight. Then the cover is basically complete. For the inside, I cut out a piece of canvas fabric and just simply glue it on the inside and cut out all the excess. And I also have two rectangle cowhide lining for the book insert. And moving on, we're making the straps for the book. And so I first cut out a wider piece of leather using chrome retain leather. And also a skinnier strip of vegetable tan leather. Then I use a pattern roller to emboss the skinnier string. The outcome is fairly subtle, and that's how that want it to be. So the skinnier strip is going to sit in the middle of the wider one and I have two pieces of the skinnier strips I attach jump rings on both ends and in the middle I have a chain to connect both of them and also have a moon charm to place in the middle
And next, I'll attach the whole strap onto the cover at the front. And this is the only part that's going to be attached onto the cover. And I'll also install the snap button on. And finally, saw the liner up, and now the spellbook cover journal is complete. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll be seeing you in the next one.